Yo, what is good, Lock'em Up Nation? Coming at y'all with another banger, another build video. This time, this is my official build that I am using. The build that I put money into. The build that I am going to grind the park with this player right here. I did a Steph Curry build, Lock Takeover, an MVP Derrick Rose build, a Trae Young build, and a Russell Westbrook build during the demo. And also a slasher. You get the name Slasher, but you get Hall of Fame shooting badges. They're all on the channel. Some might be on the end screen. Check them all out. Also, I released the best jump shot, and I still think it's the best jump shot. I mean, shooting's obviously pretty tough, but with the shot that I showed, I think that is our best chance to get them green lights. But the player we are going over is Damian Lillard. That is who I made my build after. He can shoot from 35 feet out. And still finish with the best of him. He was in a dunk contest. Might have been the worst dunk contest ever. But he was in there and he was in there for a reason. Damian Lord is one of my favorite players. So let's not waste any time. But first, I stream on Twitch now. Link down below. And I stream off that. I might even be streaming right now. So make sure you hit that link down below and hit me with that follow. Also, we are on the road to 6k subscribers. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Turn on post notifications so you don't miss an upload. Now for the build. Name doesn't matter. Point guard. Right handed. You can be left handed if you want. Jersey number. Make it zero if you want. If you really like Damien Lord that much. But 11 is my favorite number. So that is what I'm going with. We are going with the yellow green pie chart. Half yellow. Half green. That means half playmaking. Half shooting. Those are your strengths. You're going to get Hall of Fame shooting badges. And Hall of Fame playmaking badges. We're going to choose the pie chart. Well the speed chart. Because as a point guard. You want to be the fastest player you can be. Max close shot. Max driving layup. Max driving dunk. Enough standing dunk. To get three finishing badges. The way paint defense is. I think it's important to have more than one finishing badge. And also the way shooting is. Mid range and three point all the way up. Because well you want to have the best shot possible especially the way shooting is i feel like 17 is all shooting badges you need so we're just going to keep it like that pass accuracy and ball handling all the way up 21 playmaking badges more than enough for me so we're sticking with that and defense we're going to max defensive rebound block steal lateral the perimeter and interior and we're going to move up our offensive rebound enough to get nine defensive badges you got one more attribute upgrade to play with and we're going to put that on let's see we'll do standing i believe that's what i did i don't think the that last attribute really matters actually i did it on offensive rebound so yeah you get three finishing badges which it's not the greatest but i feel like shooting playmaking and defense is more important especially for how i play and I feel like you probably play a similar play style if you're looking up a Damian Lillard build. So, that's what we're going to go with. I chose built. I don't know. That's just why I felt. You can go burly, defined, slight, compact, whatever you want to do. This doesn't matter. Uh, we went 6-4. That's what I went with. You can do 6-3. You can do 6-2. You can do 6-5. I chose 6-4. You know, I get 85 ball control. So, I can get the pro dribble moves off rip. And that is huge. And 96, I'll be able to momentum. Now, the weight, you're going to move this all the way down. You want to be as fast as possible. Strength doesn't mean anything on a point guard in 2K. And the wingspan, we are going to move it up just a few. So, there we go. We still have 85 ball control. Our jump shots go down a little bit. But an 88 mid, 85 3, it's probably good enough. But if you don't think that's good enough, you can move it all the way down. If that's what you want to do. And you'll have 86 ball control. You'll be able to momentum and speed boost off rip. But this is how I want to do it. You know I want a little bit of defense. I'm already kind of short. And I feel like the extra length helps me on defense. And I played some park in my career. This definitely helps you with defense. And the takeover. I went with shot creating take. You can go sharp take if you want. I feel like sharp is more Lillard's takeover. But I went shot creating because it suits my play style. You can also go playmaking, you know, put people on the floor, whatever you want to do. Slasher take, I mean, I don't know. I've never seen lower take over by simply slashing the whole time. And I don't understand why slashing is an option on this build. Because I don't feel like it suits the build's play style that we just made. But I did shot creating, so we're just going to go with that. And you've built a playmaking shot creator. 
Shades of Steph Curry, Kevin Johnson, and Jay Moore. Now I'm kidding. I was making fun of Swante in flight. But I know Damian Lord's not on here, but this build does play similar to Damian Lord. The whole comparison thing, it doesn't really mean anything. If you want to name Damian Lord, uh, the Steph Curry lockdown build actually had shades of Damian Lillard. But I'm just showing y'all the build that I made and I feel like it does play like Damian Lillard. And I think this build is good and I think it's one of the best builds in the game. So for finishing, I got my finishing badges and I went with gold contact finisher. That's subject to change. Now I didn't get all my shooting badges yet, but this is what I'm going to do. This is probably going to be my thing right here. This is probably what I'm going to go with. Maybe I might do something like this. I think this is the best shooting badge setup for now. You know, you could do green machine. But, you know, greens are pretty tough to come by. Catch and shoot's really effective. Catch and shoot shots are very high percentage. So, you know, do whatever you want to do for now. We're just going to have it look like this. Playmaking. Handles for days. Quick first step. Those are no-brainers. Dimer. Hall of Fame. I think Dimer, the way shooting is, Dimer Hall of Fame is probably a must. Unpluckable, um, bronze or silver, let's keep that silver for now. Tight handles, space creator, ankle breaker doesn't work. You know, maybe you can throw in some needle thrider, some floor general, some break starter. But I think this, once I get all my planking badges, this will definitely do the trick. Now, the way defense is, clamps is a must. And how people paint match because no one can shoot. I actually think Intimidator might be a good one. Maybe Silver. Interceptor, probably Silver. I mean, Bronze was good. I have it on Bronze right now, and I don't think it's very good. And this last one, maybe Rebound Chaser, because, listen, Team's Paint Mash, and your big is going to need help. So perhaps Rebound Chaser, or even Box, either or. I think would help your big man out a lot. I think it's important you look out for your big man because it's tough for him to defend the paint and rebound over two or maybe three people while you and your partner is trying to cherry pick. So I think that's a good bad stuff and I think this build is really good. I have a, a 91 win percent in the park. Not that it means anything. The game just dropped. Uh, sorry for that. Some random numbers calling me. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch, link down below. And hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications so you don't miss an upload if you haven't already. But if you have any questions, let me know. Here's some videos on the end screen. Click. I'll see you there or I'll see you on the next one. But I'm out. Peace.